Hi, I'm James Crowhurst from ICT Techie and this is the second video in my series of videos about Reflector. In this video we're going to look at the settings that are available to us using Reflector. First of all we need to load Reflector. So I'm going to double click it on my desktop. Now I'm only using the trial version of Reflector here it's perfectly okay to show you all the settings. So I'm going to press trial reflector here. And now that's reflector running on my laptop. So to access the settings I need to access it from the taskbar at the bottom. To do that I need to click on the little arrow down here to show the hidden icons and there I can see the reflector icon. Now if I right click it I can go to show preferences. In here I've got a single screen with a few settings so I can optimize my screen size, change the name of the device that I want to airplay to, so I can use my computer's name or type one in, I can give it a password, I can tell it to launch full screen, always be on top and prevent my machine from being shut down. As well as having those settings in Reflector, you also get some more settings when you are actually air playing. So I'm going to show you those now. So to do that, I'm going to connect my iPad to my laptop via Reflector. Just by swiping upon my iPad and telling it to mirror across. So there you go, you can see it's on there now. Note that because I'm using the trial version of Reflector, it does say unregistered trial mode at the bottom down here. Now to access the settings all I need to do is right click on the frame and here I can choose whether to go to full screen, end my connection to my iPad, show my frame so I can take my frame off so it looks like that and I just right click back on my screen I can bring my frame back on I can change my frame, so here I'm using an iPad Air Space Grey, I can use the old iPad Black, or I can use an iPad Mini Black, personal preference really. You can start recording, which I'll talk about in one of my later videos. I can scale, so at the moment I'm using the actual size, but I can stretch it to fit, which means it goes a bit bigger. And notice it also is slightly blarier there as well, not quite as sharp. Or I can do half size which makes it a lot smaller. I'm going to go back to actual size. And then you've got automatic orientation. So if I was to flip my iPad to portrait, it will automatically flip to portrait. And if I flip it back to landscape, it automatically flips back to landscape or I can force landscape or force portrait just to show you what full screen mode looks like I'm going to enter full screen mode now so you can see it just puts a black screen around it to force it into full screen properly really you need to take the frame off and then change the scaling to stretch to fit and that makes it look like it's filling your screen properly I'm just going to close the connection now because that ends the Reflector video on using settings in Reflector.